Merry 2021. If you're watching this, you're checking in. Let's make a pocket flog. Like this one. And you may ask yourself, why would I need a pocket flog? Well, I got a good sting to it. A lot of reasons. One, scary kids and doing chores. Two, for getting rid of flies. <clears throat> um, three, if you're kind of repent for your sins and you're a Old Testament kind of guy, you can get yourself a good one. Or Christmas presents. Anyway, let's do it. I've got a paracord here, and that's what I'll be using to make these. Because paracord is cheaper than leather. And the cool thing about this is you can just fold it up and it'll fit right in your pocket. Which makes a very interesting conversation piece if you're, you know, on a first date or something. So, I've got a heap of paracord here. You can make these as thick or as not thick as you want. But you're going to find your two ends. Just straighten this mother out. There's your bite. And you're going to go to your two ends. You're going to double it. Then you're going to do it again. Then you're going to do it again. And you're going to do this until you get to whatever length you think is appropriate. And I think this will do. It's good. Yeah. Feels good. So, what I'm going to do now is put a handle on it. <clears throat> and I do that now to keep it all together. Because soon we're going to be cutting and burning and doing all kinds of strange things. So pick a color of your handle. I'm going to use this cool orange because I have to have, happen to have it in my truck. And I'm going to actually start here. Pull this back until this end kind of hangs over the side. And I'm going to make a loop. So it looks like this. And I'm going to start wrapping it around. And you want these wraps to be as tight as you can get them. Sorry, I know I'm down there in my crotch. You can't even see down there. But I'm going to do this and this and this and this and this and this again and this again. These are good tight loops. If you want, you can get all the little things out of there, straighten up your stuffage so it looks nice. I'm one of those guys that can put a harness on somebody and I'll spend an exuberant amount of time straightening up knots and making ropes like flat next to each other. A slight rope perfectionist, I guess you would call it. So, now that you've got this all wrapped up, you got this little loop here. You're going to run your end through this loop, holding onto it to keep the tension on these coils. Because you don't want them getting loose. You want them as tight as possible. Alright, that's tight. And then, you're going to pull this. And what that is going to do is tighten that loop around that cord you just pulled. And you're going to tighten the piss out of it. Don't be afraid to put too much pressure on this. Here we go. And now we have a handle. <clears throat> and I'll get to all this stuff later. But right now we're going to make our ends nice and stingy. And you can keep it like this, honestly. And this is a good, it's got a good sting, it's got a good flat weight to it. But, I like my uh, tails to have a little more sting to it. So what I'm going to do is using safety shears, as anyone who works with rope should have, I will start cutting these loops. And after I cut these loops, I'm going to burn them. So 
So you got your fray there. I was thinking about paracord, it does that, but this you're not gonna really put direct heat on it, breathing on it. You're gonna use kind of the side of the lighter or the side of the flame. That way there's a little chance of fire. Look at that. That's gonna be awesome. For some lucky individual or fly. Or whatever. Yeah. There we go. And that makes a nice little hard piece on the end of that that is going to be very awesome. It's gonna feel real good in a bad way. I'm gonna go through all of these. And you can make this, once again, as thick or as light as you want. If you want more weight, you can leave it looped like I had it in the beginning. But less weight, use less, you know, less strands. It's all up to you. There's no wrong way of doing this. As Bob Ross would say, I'm not sure he said it exactly like that. The cool thing about this cord is it just kind of shrinks. It's like shrink wrap when you do this with it. Watch it shrink down. And you're not really using so much direct heat. You're just outside of the flame. And that'll prevent any major discoloration and it melting on you too fast. You're, it's, you're controlling the heat, basically. Don't be afraid to get your hands on there and <clears throat> crimp it down or whatnot. It, it's hot, but it's not hot enough to leave blisters or anything. Just a minor discomfort for a little bit. You see what I mean? Two more to go. One more to go. I love paracord. You can do so much stuff with this. And there you have that. All your ends are relatively even, and they are all almost, I should call it beaded, I guess you could say, because uh, it's no longer a, a pliable soft rope on the end of it. It's uh, hard little plastic nuggets on the end of it, which makes, oh yeah, for a very good sting. Now let's deal with this. Make sure it's tight. <clears throat> Yeah, we're going to cut this one right here first, and we're going to heat it. Cool thing about paracord, you can heat the hell out of it. And we're just going to use a lighter and kind of flatten it down there, like so. And all of this on here is going away. Now you can put a rope through this and use it as kind of a handle to do what you want, but I just prefer to have a handle like this. So I'm not going to put a rope through these loops. I'm actually going to cut these loops down to about uh, about a quarter of an inch. So it's like that. Flat top it, and then we're going to use controlled heat, and we're going to carefully, oh, I don't know what I'm 
shaking so much. I'm excited. It gets me excited. I don't know if you noticed that or not. But anyway. Use controlled heat. Go back and forth to evenly. Go all the way around it and throughout it. And you'll be able to tell when it starts turning to kind of a liquid on top. It'll get glossy. And when you got that good kind of liquid color, or not color, but texture, that looks like it. Then you're going to mash it down and mushroom it out on, say, a table or, you know, in my case, a center console. <laughs> That'll prevent the handle from coming off. And you can use your hand and your fingers and finish it off. But it also looks kind of cool, too. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of neat. And there you go. Now this thing is ready to go. Put it in your pocket. Take it on a first date or to Thanksgiving. Clean up your mess. And you have made a miniature paracord flog. Congrats. Uh, another... <clears throat> There's several options for this. But, um, like this one's a lot heavier than this one. This has more tails to it. Another thing you can do is knots on the end of your flogs. There's only a four tail flog. However, if you can see this ranger bead that I kind of tied on there. There's four of those. This, uh, this little thing is cherry, man. It gives kind of a, a thump, like a weight, but it also gives a good sting at the same time. And I would not recommend using this for anything but you know, buttocks. I uh, would not use it, you know, between the shoulders, um, toward, you know, minor, major organs on the back or whatever. Uh, possibly feet, uh, inside of thighs maybe. But uh, yeah, this thing is, this thing does not look like much, but it's pretty lethal and I like it. So yeah, there you go. I'm making Christmas presents for next year already. Oh. <clears throat> Hope that was informative. You got what you needed out of it. <clears throat> Sorry about the metronome. But I'm doing security things while keeping busy. Got DoorDash on the way. I'm about to eat some wings too. So, good start to a new year. Not that I believe in that kind of thing. I'm a realist. <clears throat> Hope you have a great day. Hope your uh, year starts off good. Hope it stays good. Look after one another. Um, start off the year with an act of random kindness. That's a good way to start the year, I think. That kind of sets the mood. But all in all, if you're watching this, you're checking it. Have a great day.